Good morning. Welcome to another Volo Engine update. I want to tell you where things are at and where we're headed. Uh, things are progressing well. <clears throat> we're still cutting the uh, foam models, as you can see here, uh, getting the foam to the shop uh, one way or another. And we have uh, successfully created most uh, all the uh, parts that need to be cast. And here you can see just a compilation of those uh, castings. Now we're designing those castings, those uh, models for casting with um, sprue design. Here you can see the piston with uh, one configuration of sprue design. That's where the basically the metal comes into the sand. And uh, here are a couple other designs. We're kind of testing it to see which, uh, which works best. Once the sprues are done, then we coat the uh, whole model with a refractory uh, drywall uh, slurry and let that dry. We're trying some different techniques. Uh, here you can see uh, Catherine uh, not too happy with one of our techniques. That didn't work well. Um, anyway, moving on. The foundry is up and running, and um, we put that together. And we want to show you a short clip of a pour just to s so you can see how that's proceeding. Here you can see the foundry with a, a crucible of uh, molten uh, aluminum in there. But to, to show you how the pour goes, here's a short, uh, a short take on it. You can see there's the molten metal. And it's being taken from the foundry into the um, <coughs> pouring jig, which is then taken over to the... Uh, foam mold which is inside that uh, sand uh, cavity and the uh, molten aluminum is poured and the uh, <clears throat> the mold gas outgasses and evaporates and the metal fills the mold cavity. Uh, we did have to increase the capacity of the foundry which uh, gave us a little bit of a delay but we think we've got it now it seems to be working pretty well. What we get from that is we get a relatively near net shape to what the foam mold is so that allows us to clean it up with just a little bit of machining here you can see the displacer head and uh, we're taking that onto a milling machine to clean it up it will be done uh, via cnc but the first few we're just doing by hand to um, to kind of go through and see how they clean up <clears throat> now uh, the next piece I wanted to take you through is our water jet cutting, which we're using for cutting the steel for the linkages. This is an incredible machine at the uh, tech shop where we're doing the fab work. And uh, I have a short video of it for you here. And here you can see that 60,000 PSI of water that's cutting through a quarter inch of steel plate to uh, carve out the uh, different linkages. It's running off the CAD model for those linkages. And here's the resulting um, parts as you can see them there. In addition, we also cut out the crank discs uh, at, at a half inch steel and it, it ends up with uh, parts that look something like this, uh, really beautiful parts and put together the linkages are, are, uh, are going together well and we still have a few uh, things to iron out, bearing fits, things of that sort, but it's going well. In addition, we have some of the other parts, the uh, hot end of the piston, also the displacer body. As you see there, there was a short uh, show at the tech shop in Detroit and uh, we just put a few more items out on the table so people could see them. Autodesk made a short uh, video of uh, the engine to show folks and um, things are progressing uh, nicely. We are running a little bit behind time. I'm estimating to have uh, an engine done this month and hopefully start shipping in June. Not a firm date yet but we're getting close to it. Um, I want to thank everybody for their support and uh, keep uh, keep your comments suggestions coming and we'll see you uh, so, see you soon.